Okay, everyone, so we just got back from the cliff dwellings. It was so cool uh, getting to actually go inside them, um, climb up and down some ladders, and uh, actually see all the rooms. Um, our tour guide, Rick, was really cool, told us a lot of interesting stuff. Um, and this being the off season, we were two of four other people up there. So they had two rangers, so we had our own personal tour guide. And that was just awesome. Uh, highly recommend it if you guys get out here at all. Check out the Gila Cliff Dwellings. And a lot of free camping down the road. These They have free campsites just right over. Um, I'll drive by them. We were actually trying to get to the one closest to the cliff dwellings here. But it was late and we ended up at Grapevine. And I'm really happy we did. Uh, I'll show you guys the spots. Just really small. It's more for tent camping. Um, there was a review by some RVers on the free campsites that were good, and I'm like, I don't know what they, I don't know, I'll show you. There's just a small spot to, to park, and I don't know. It wouldn't be the worst spot, but I'm glad the uh, Grapevine Campground ended up being the place we stayed at. So I'm just making some coffee real quick for the drive back. And I will say, uh, if you're driving an RV up here, it sucks. Um, really hard on your brakes, the road coming here. Um, we didn't go through Pinos Altos. We took a longer route through Membrys. We were coming from south of it. Depends where you're coming from. <clears throat> uh, we were told it was an easier route, and it was still really rough. Um, putting it into second gear, first gear. Brakes were getting really hot. I just put brand new rotors on the front, so... Um, we made it and the brakes are fine, but just keep that in mind. Uh, we're going to travel back early. It's only 11, so it won't be as bad. Um, I'm driving real, real slow because I'm not beating up my brakes. So Thanks for watching. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. So this is one of the free campgrounds just below the cliff dwellings. You kind of see, it's just a parking lot. Um, it's not horrible by any means. And you got some nice scenery, I'm sure it's really quiet, but a little bit more for tent campers uh, and vans. I think you might come off a little rude taking up half that place with the big motor home. And let's see, this is the lower Scorpion campground get a better view. They're I mean, not bad, but I'm really glad we stopped at Grapevine. There was one more past it that was really nice too. So take advantage of that free camping guys. Freecampsites.net.